Hi there, everyone. My name is Dan Canilio. I am the store manager of Long and McQuaid Musical Instruments in Markham, Ontario. And what makes our Markham, Ontario location a little bit different than some of the other Long and McQuaid locations is that we are a retailer of boutique bass equipment. That includes lines like F bass, Dingwall guitars, Bergantino speakers and amplifiers, and Federa bass guitars, which is what we're here to talk about in today, in particular, the Emperor J5 Classic. We just received our very first shipment of Emperor J5s, so we want to have a look at them with you and have a listen to them. So hopefully this helps your decision making process if you're thinking about getting a Federa bass. So the Emperor J5 Classic comes in two main configurations, a 60s version and a 70s version. This is the 60s version that I'm holding right now. And we'll get into the specific specs, what makes the 60s different than the 70s. Before we do that, I'll talk about the features that are common to both the 60s and the 70s. Both of them come with the Federa High Mass Standard Bridge, as well as the Federa Standard Preamp. Uh, the controls on the preamp are a volume, a tone control, a pickup selector, a treble and bass EQ, treble on top, bass on the bottom, and a mid-range EQ. There's a switch here, and the switch is to go from active mode to passive mode. Today we'll be listening to the bass on active mode with the EQ set flat. Moving on from the preamp, we have the pickups, which are Seymour Duncan single coil pickups. We've heard lots of emperors with dual coils, but now we've got single coil pickups, which are more traditional, more like a typical jazz bass. And it's a 22 fret fingerboard, 19 millimeter string spacing with this beautiful Buckeye inlaid butterfly on the top. So those are the specs that are standard to both the 60s and the 70s. Uh, what's different between the 60s and the 70s is the wood and the pickup position. On the 60s, it's an alder body with a rosewood fingerboard and a 60s pickup spacing. So uh, they're a little tighter. The pickups are spaced a little closer together on the 60s than they are on the 70s, which was uh, standard for Fender back in the 60s. Those are the main differences. The 70s has ash and maple with the pickups spread out a little bit further apart. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's have a little listen to the 60s bass. As I said, all the EQ is set flat and I'm going to play the same bass line on all the basses so that it has some consistency so we can really hear the difference in tonality between the instruments. The bass line I've chosen for today is Let's Groove by Earth, Wind and Fire. So I'll play it first finger style, both pickups equally up in volume. So pickup, set, center, both pickups same level, playing with fingers, let's go. Nice, okay, let's hear it slap style, both pickups up. Now we'll solo the bridge pickup, just the bridge pickup. Let's hear it finger style. And now just the neck pickup soloed. have it. That's the 60s. One last thing, because every five string bass player wants to know what the B string sounds like. So I'll play just the B. I think it's a pretty great sounding B string. 34 inch scale and the B is still hitting. So that's the 60s style. Let's have a listen to the 70s. 
And here is the 70s Emperor J5 Classic. This one is in a royal purple finish, which you can see is really beautiful. And with the finishes on these J5 Classics, you can get the standard Federa finish in either high gloss or satin, which is what this one is. And there's also a nitrocellulose option as well, which is what was on the 60s version that we had. We chose nitrocellulose. So this is the standard finish in satin, really slick looking base. And of course, it's an ash body with a bird's eye maple fingerboard. And then the Seymour Duncan pickup spaced a little further apart, just like they were on the 70s fenders, neck pickup closer to the neck, bridge clip pickup closer to the bridge. So let's hear what kind of difference these woods and pickup spacing make. So back to Let's Groove, finger style, both pickups. Let's go slap style. Just the bridge pickup. And now just the neck pickup. Okay, and how's that B string? Nice and tight, nice and sturdy. So that's this 70s. We've got one more 70s, same specs, just a different finish. Let's have a listen to it too. And here's our other Emperor J5 classic in Olympic white. Same specs, still a satin finish. Federa's standard finish, but in satin on this. Every other spec is exactly the same as the 70s. So just a color difference, but let's have a listen to the sound and see if it sounds any different than the other one. They'll probably be pretty close, but let's check it out. Here we go, let's groove. <laughs> Slap style. Just the bridge. And now just the neck. And there you have it, the Federa Emperor 5 J Classic. I hope that video was helpful. I hope it helps you in selecting the right base for you. Please smoosh the like button on this video. Subscribe to our channel. We have lots more videos coming for you and we hope we can help you in your musical journeys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, hit the like button or leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Be sure to follow us on our socials to stay up to date with everything Long and McQuaid. Long and McQuaid, where the music begins.